Yeah. Andrew Percy. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I was in Israel last week meeting with friends and survivors and hostage families, uh, and I actually felt safer in Israel than I do in this country at this moment in time. And I have two reflections on that visit and on what happened yesterday. First of all, nobody in this House has any business agency at all in telling the State of Israel where it is able to operate to seek to rescue hostages who are being raped yeah, yeah, by Islamic yeah. terrorists yeah, who yeah. hold them. Nobody has any business. Secondly, if we have a rerun of the debate we had yesterday, we will have exactly the same thing happen again, which is that members will not vote with their hearts because they are frightened and they are scared. Yeah, yeah. And what, what do we expect? For months I've been standing up here talking about the people on our streets demanding death to Jews, demanding jihad, demanding intifadas, as the police stand by and allow that to happen. Last night, a genocidal call for from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, was projected onto this building. That, that message says no Jew is welcome in uh, the state of Israel or in that land. This is going to continue happening because we're not dealing with it. So if we have a rerun of this, can the leader explain to me what will be any different and how will members vote with their hearts and their consciences? Because too many will not at the moment because of the threats we're receiving, threats that are telling us to leave this country in some of our cases and telling us that they want us or our families to be subjected to pain and to death. Yeah. Yeah. Leader. Well,